If you haven't been introduced to destructuring in JavaScript, when you run into it, you may wonder what is going on with the code. Also, it is a nice feature for assigning multiple values. We're going to take a look at it in this tutorial. Welcome to another tutorial from All Things JavaScript, where we help bridge the gap between novice and expert. To be notified about new tutorials, make sure to click that bell button and subscribe. And also, check out the discount links to all my courses that I've included in the description of this tutorial. And finally, if you feel so inclined, there is a link in the description for how to support this channel. Now, the first thing to remember about destructuring is it is a shorthand way for assigning values from an array or an object. It can save some typing, but when you first see it, it looks a bit weird. Destructuring works for getting values from both objects and arrays. I have mostly used it with objects, but let's look at arrays first as I think that is a good starting point. All right, let me introduce it with arrays by doing this. I'm gonna set up an array. I'll just set it equal to some numbers here to represent scores or something like that. Now let's say I wanted to pull out those three numbers and assign them to a variable. Well traditionally we would do something like this. Let's say x equals and then we have to indicate the index of the array y equals second index and z equals something like this. That would allow us to, to assign those to a variable. Well, with destructuring, we can do that in a much simpler fashion, and this is what it would look like. Let me comment out these so that I can use those same variables. Here's how it would look. I indicate the variables here that I want the values assigned to, x, y, and z. And notice that I put them inside of square brackets just like I would an array. But the difference is they are on the left-hand side of the assignment operator. On the right-hand side is where the array would be, like this. And so this will automatically take the first index, second index, third index. It will assign the values to those as variables right now on the global space since I've set that up on the global space. Let's take a look at it really quick. We just open the console and x is 100, y 50, z 60. So it assigned those using destructuring which is really a shorthand way to do it. Now, where destructuring makes the most sense is in use with functions, either receiving data from a function or passing data into a function, and then being able to assign those to variables at that time. So let's look at a couple examples of that. First, still using arrays, then I'll get into objects. But I'm going to create a very simple function here, get scores. I'm just going to have it return. I'm going to do it really quickly here as an arrow function. Just have it return an array of scores. Let's see, 85, 90, 65, 40, something like that. Now, if I were to call that, call that function, and it's returning an array, and I wanted to grab certain values from that array, it would be much the same way as we've done in our previous example. I'm going to set up the structuring assignment here, A, B. Now notice what I'm doing here. I have two commas, so what I want to do is I want to skip the third and assign the fourth to C. That's what I'm planning to do. Then I set that equal to get scores and I just invoke that function. So let's take a look at that, A, B, C. Now, remember C should be 65, not 90, but 65. So let's look at that first, C, 65. We also have A, 
and we have B. And so it grabbed those from the return of that function. Now, where I've used it the most, destructuring, is as parameters in a function. That's where I have ended up using the most. Let me just quickly copy in an example of that. Put some space here. All right, let's say that I want to fill up these arrays with all of the scores for quiz one, this array for all the scores of quiz two, and this array for quiz three, or something like that. The problem I have is each array has all the quizzes together. And so I just set up this function here where I pass the array in. It does destructuring right here, assigns those to separate variables, and then pushes those separate variables onto these up here. So I get all of the scores for quiz one in one array, quiz two in another, and so on. Let's look at how we would do that. So if I call separate scores and I pass in an array from, say, one particular student, and it has the score for quiz one, quiz two, quiz three, we're now going to separate that. So I pass that in. If I do it again. Just change things up a little bit here. And basically what it's doing is it's destructuring those and then assigning those to the individual race. So I end up with, for example, quiz one here has the two scores from quiz one that I passed in. So that's where I find the greatest use for destructuring is in parameters. And I want to separate things out. But like I said, I've mostly used that with objects. So let's look at an example of an object. I'm going to comment these out here. We'll do a simple, simple example first. Let's say I have an object like this. It has my name, it has my interest, some of my interests, it has my email. And if I wanted to pull those out into their own variables, I can use destructuring to do that. Now notice the difference between destructuring with objects as opposed to arrays. We still put it on the left-hand side, the assignment operator, so it is still assigning a value to these. However, because it is an object, we use curly braces. And the other thing that is important is we need to specify which property we want assigned to which variable. So the variable name we put in here needs to be the same as the property we are trying to grab the value of. So in this case, name and email. Those are the two I'm going to get. I won't get interests. Okay, and we'll just set that equal to OBJ, like that. And as you'll be able to see, it's going to assign the name and the email to those corresponding variables. There's the name and the email. So that's destruction with objects. But I want to show you one more example with that as well, because like I said, I find this the most useful when you're working with functions, passing things into functions. There's other places to use them, as you can see. But that's where I've used them the most. So I'm going to copy this in. I have two objects set up. These are students. They have scores. Some of the scores they've completed, some they haven't. And so their object changes depend depending on what they've completed. And basically, I just want to get a sum of the first three scores so I can tell them currently how they're doing. It's that type of idea. So this function will take care of that for me. It does destructuring in the parameters. Notice that it's inside of curly braces and I've had to make the variables the same name as the properties. And then it simply adds those up and returns the results. That's all it does. So let's take a look at that. 
So refresh here, and if I do sum first three scores, I'm gonna pass in, oops, student one. That's the first one I'll send in. See what their sum of the first three scores is 250. So basically what it did is it grabbed this score, this score, and that one, and then it added those two together. So really simple example, but it shows the kind of thing you can do with destructuring. Here's the second student, 185. So destructuring is one of those shorthand syntax ways of assigning values from an array or from an object. Important reason to know it is you'll run into it and you'll wonder, what is this code doing? And so knowing destruction, you'll be able to see it. But also, you'll be able to see situations where you can use it and it can save some keystrokes and make your code much simpler. All right, if you find that helpful, please hit the like button. And remember the discount links to all my courses in the description section. They're a great way to spend some time learning more JavaScript. Click the bell button to be notified about new releases. I try to release a new tutorial each week. And most of all, thanks for watching.